Hello, my name is Christine Lustig, and I'm here to introduce you to the SmartThinky Live tutoring options for Jones International University students. I am currently a faculty member and spent the previous six years as Director of Distance Education at Western Wyoming Community College. I understand how important it is for students to solve their frustrations in areas like math, accounting, and the sciences quickly. The Smart Thinking Live tutoring, or Connect with an eStructure Now opportunity, can help students work through problems in a wide variety of areas. In this brief overview, I'm going to introduce the Smart Thinking Live tutoring option, show the content areas and times days of live tutors, show you how students use it, and talk about the kind of feedback students can expect from us. The idea is that students connect with a tutor at a time that is convenient to them within our live tutor hours. The students will chat with the tutor back and forth on a whiteboard and everything they do is archived so they can use that information to study for future assignments or tests. As a reminder, students access us by logging into their JIU account, going to My Courses, My Links, and you can see down here, about two-thirds of, of the way down the, their left navigation pane, the online tutoring link. They click that and it's a single sign-on. They go directly to the Smart Thinking page. Who are our tutors? We are a company that has about 1,500 tutors. They are professional educators. They come to us with about nine years of teaching experience on the average, and over 90% have an advanced degree in the subject area that they tutor. You can see that right now we have about 1,500 that are college, university, faculty, graduate students, and retired educators. They come to us as educators, and then we train them. They have to go through a training on, on tutoring not only how to use the technology, but how to ask questions and, and push the students so that we're not just a home, so we're not a homework answering service at all, but we're involving the students in, the, in their learning. We will engage students in discussion and problem solving strategies, encourage students with constructive criticism, and help them see areas where their work can be improved. When, if they post a problem, we will ask them, have you done any work? Can you show us what you've done? What exactly don't you understand about that concept? We will work to involve the students. We will not complete assignments, proofread, or rewrite papers. The areas in which Smart Thinking provides live tutors include math, including basic math through calculus, accounting, micro and macroeconomics, and finance, biology, human anatomy and physiology and chemistry, and essay submission, paragraph development, career writing, an ESL writing center, and APA formatting. We can help with APA formatting with the live, with the writing tutors, the live writing tutors. In addition, we've just added some technology areas. We do have tutors in Windows, Word, Excel, Access, and PowerPoint. So, let's see what the students visualize. So when the students enter their Smart Thinking homepage, this is what they see. And our focus today is on the live tutoring, connect with an eStructure Now. When students come in, the idea is they connect with an eStructure Now during our, tutor, our live hours. And we have our live hours linked right there. I'm going to click on that link and show you that it goes out to a Smart Thinking website that you could get to as a faculty member. You could go to smartthinking.com with one T and under support, go to hours of service. To show you our hours of service, so these are the times that we have live tutors waiting for students. Basic math, 24 hours a day, seven days a week year round. Um, math for Spanish speaking students, accounting, writing and reading, economics, are all seven days a week. Now this is the Eastern time zone and um, September through May. So, so note the time zone and change it in your head for your time, but seven days a week. So for example, live writing tutors, Sunday through Thursday, 9 a.m. to 2 a.m. Eastern. That would be 7 a.m. to midnight Mountain Time. 
on Sunday through Thursday, and Friday and Saturday, noon to 6 p.m., or 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. in the Mountain Time Zone. So some pretty extensive hours of live tutors. In addition, we have the anatomy and physiology and biology and computer tutors on Sunday through Thursday evenings. Those are our prime times. Note that you don't have the Spanish tutors. Those are for actual Spanish classes. Okay, so that gives you an idea of what our live tutor hours are and how extensive they are, especially with math. So a student comes in, clicks the down arrow. This list is going to change depending on the time of day. It's only going to show the areas that have live tutors right now. So check this out. A student can come in and click right on APA formatting or writing or algebra or word to get a tutor in those areas. When they click on it, the whiteboard will open. The first thing we try to do is give the students a little help. So we tell them to submit your question, type your question on the whiteboard, and click the Enter Question button. They have to click Start, and then everything becomes white, and they just click their little icon. Where they click is where they type. And we told them to type their problem in and then click Enter Question. And they have all of these tools that they can use to help them beyond their simply their type, their keyboard. So they've got a few graphs and different tools that they can use. And again, they're just click and drag and where they click is where they type. So they learn very quickly and catch on. Once they click enter question, they go in the queue for a live tutor. It is our goal to get live, tu live tutors to students within three minutes. Right now, our average wait time for math topics is about a minute, and our average wait time for all topics combined is about two and a half minutes. Once the tutor comes in, they come in in red, and they go back and forth in the different colored text until they finish. When the student ends a session, they exit their session. And remember I mentioned everything is archived for the students. So, when the student goes back to their home page, down here in the bottom left corner, where the inbox is, is also where the archives are. So, within a few hours of the session, the tutor will have archived it and it will be safely here for the student to use before future assignments or tests, or even to study for the next class to refresh themselves after a break. Our tutors are trained not to just answer questions. They're going to try to involve the student in the process. We've mentioned that already, but we really do aim for a higher level of learning. So they understand exactly where the misunderstanding is for the student. The goal is when the student finishes, they not only know the answer to the problem, but how to do future problems. They will continually ask students questions to involve them in the process. Our tutors are here to help students with concepts and problems. They don't know what class the student is in, and they may not be familiar with the specific book being used. Students will want to plan on describing in detail their problem and what they don't understand. If they have a question specific to an assignment or what's expected with the, the assignment, we will encourage them to contact their instructor. Okay. So you can encourage the use of this student resource if you feel it would help your students. You can strongly suggest, perhaps in, after their first assignment, within the feedback, if they've done poorly, that they use the resource in the future to help supplement what's in the class. You can give incentives if, if it's useful within the class. Encourage students to maybe um, go to a tutor with some problems they got wrong on a test and bring the feedback back so you can tell they did that. Or just encourage the students to review these tutorials to show them that it's not hard to use smart thinking and, that, and then can jump in. In closing, please know that smart thinking is not here to replace faculty. We are here to support students in their hour of need. 
As we know, students expect faculty to be available 24-7 to answer their emails. Now they have another resource to help them with concepts, just like any tutoring center on a campus would. JIU provides this resource free for all its students to help them succeed. If you have students struggling with concepts, you may encourage them to use the resource. Maybe they just need to hear it differently. If you have any questions about this tutorial or smart thinking, don't hesitate to contact the JIU library. Thanks so much. We hope this helps your students succeed.